Assalamu alaikum ladies, welcome back to Healing Aspirations with Amani. My name is Amani Obaid, your holistic dental health coach. I help women overcome their fear of the dentist and tooth pain and simplify natural oral care. So um, I would like to know if you are watching this uh, live. If you are, please type live. And if you are watching the replay, please type replay. So today I wanted to ask you a question. Um, I want to know whether any of you are suffering from any uh, PMS symptoms, if anyone's suffering from insomnia, unable to sleep properly at night, leg cramps, sugar cravings, low energy, and constipation. If you are uh, battling any of these right now, please give me a thumbs down for any of these symptoms. So like I said, PMS, insomnia, leg cramps, sugar cravings, low energy, or constipation. Thumbs down for those. And now... Uh, I want to know who's excited about learning something that will help with these symptoms, inshallah. Give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn about magnesium, magnificent magnesium. So a lot of times when people are talking about um, that they are deficient in certain minerals, you hear people talking about calcium, especially when it comes to tooth decay. Um, a lot of people don't know about other minerals. You've got um, phosphorus, you've got iron, you've got zinc. Um, so today I want to focus on mag magnesium and why it's so magnificent. So magnesium is actually um, one of the most important minerals when it comes to maintaining optimal health because it's involved in more than 300 reactions in your body and it's needed for a lot of functions. So things like DNA synthesis, muscle contractions, blood pressure dysregulation, protein synthesis, insulin uh, metabolism, um, the transmitting uh, signals between your nerves and reproduction, of course. So, although this may seem like, you know, what does this have to do with, you know, Ramadan reboot day number nine? I want to show you how you can use magnesium, inshallah, to optimize uh, your Ramadan this year, inshallah. So, the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because it's actually possible to have a magnesium deficiency even with a healthy diet. Um, so, it's really, really important that you ensure that you are eating. Uh, plenty of magnesium rich foods and getting enough of this mineral uh, to maintain your optimal health and the reason why it's so difficult these days is because the soil is very depleted um, the GMOs the genetically modified organisms that have been introduced salam alaikum um, and the chemicals in our food supply now they've created basically a recipe for disaster and so because these minerals have been removed or stripped away or they're just no longer uh, available in the soil the percentage of magnesium is actually a lot, lot less than what it used to be 50 years ago, 80 years ago, 100 years ago. Um, and then on top of that, on top of the soil depletion, you've got the new, uh, the chronic issue that a lot of people have these days, which is leaky gut, where you're not absorbing nutrients properly from your food. Um, so that causes mineral malabsorption. Um, and of course, magnesium is part of those minerals, right? Um, and then as we age, um, also our mineral absorption tends to decrease so the probability of having a, ma a magnesium deficiency increases like across the board and then the third thing is a lot of people have chronic illnesses um, how many people do you know are right now battling something that they've been suffering from for five years ten years what have you um, put a hands up if you know someone who's suffering from a chronic uh, disease so and then on top of that you've got medications that also alter your gut and they're also responsible for um, lowering the amount of magnesium you're absorbing. Now what's interesting, and what does this have to do with, like I said, Ramadan reboot number nine, and what does this have to do with teeth? Well, 99% um, of your magnesium is stored in your bones. Okay, so this is very, very important. Um, and so in, in your bones, um, muscles and soft tissues, while, while only 1% is concentrated in the blood, right? Um, so you can see how important it is to make sure that your magnesium levels are optimized in your body when you're trying to remineralize your teeth um, and when you are trying to optimize your health and your body for fasting Ramadan inshallah. Now just to recap give you some tips on how to incorporate more magnesium rich foods into your diet. Um, Cooked greens are very, very beneficial. So whether spinach, collard greens, Swiss chard, um, kale, those are all very rich in, in, in magnesium. Um, also, you've got pumpkin seeds. Believe it or not, if you just have um, 
an eighth of a cup, which is the equivalent of what, two tablespoons? Two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds gives you 24% of uh, your magnesium intake. Um, other nuts like almonds, they also have them. Black beans, sometimes other legumes also tend to have them. Just make sure that when it comes to anything like uh, grains or pseudo grains like quinoa, um, your nuts and seeds and your legumes, make sure to pro prepare them properly so that you're um, removing the phytic acid and absorbing the magnesium that's in there, inshallah. Um, also avocado, one medium avocado has got 15% of your daily value, inshallah. Now, um, however, I do recommend um, on top of this, on top of eating magnesium rich foods, because magnesium deficiency like affects 60% of the population are actually deficient in it. I do recommend that you supplement with um, extra magnesium in your water. And this is the brand that I recommend. It's called Concentrate Minerals. Although I'm not an advocate of supplements, um, especially when not used with under the, the guidance of a practitioner. Um, this one is, is natural. Uh, and what they do is it's actually made from uh, concentrated desalinated so they've actually removed all the salt from inland sea water from the Great Lakes in Utah so um, it has magnesium it's got um, other trace minerals um, without the sodium that we don't create an electrolyte imbalance um, and um, all it takes is 40, 40 drops gives you 260 milliliters of your magnesium um, uh, 260 milligrams of magnesium just with 40 drops so what you can do is just um, so 40 drops gives you 260 so if you want you could do 10 drops in four glasses of water spread throughout the day this will help you with your energy this will help you with your um, sleep it'll help with your remineralizing your bones uh, if you have any blood uh, blood sugar imbalances and you're getting cravings this is excellent for that if you're having PMS symptoms um, it's really really beneficial with that if you're suffering from depression or anxiety, um, and it even uh, relieves inflammation, inshallah. So I highly recommend this one, inshallah, I'll, I'll post a link for it. So if anyone's curious about wanting to incorporate this into the routine. Um, but I just really wanted to give you something that will give you an extra boost, inshallah. So when Ramadan inshallah, comes next week, you are prepared. Um, Jazakum Allah khairan for joining me today on Ramadan Reboot Day number 9. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the last day of Ramadan Reboot. And it will be day number 10 and then next week is Ramadan. And inshallah I hope you've benefited from the videos. Please like or actually love them and share them. And I'll see you tomorrow inshallah. Jazakum Allah khairan and assalamu alaikum.